Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a manga review of fourth generation head Tatsuyuki Oyamoto. This is by Scarlet Berico, the same mangaka who did Jackass, which is one of my favorite yaoi titles that I own. So when I found out another Scarlet Berico title was coming here, I was very excited. Um, and then we're also getting another one of their works called Jealousy very soon, I believe, as well, uh, sometime this year, so super excited for that, but for now, fourth generation head, Tatsuyuki Oyamoto, uh, this is a cover, <laughs> um, I have, I have learned in these two works that I've read, Scarlet Berico really enjoys, um, stories that have to do with kink, and, that does not bother me. I don't really care. Uh, but this one in particular is about um, this gentleman here who is the fourth generation head of a Yakuza, or Yakuza um, syndicate. And uh, he he's like up and coming. He's not he hasn't taken over it yet, but and he doesn't have an interest in doing so. Uh, but he basically is sent to live somewhere else and runs into this guy who seems to know him from somewhere and he's like I have no idea who you are um and this guy is basically obsessed with him and of course they start sleeping together but there's a lot of other this guy here um there's a lot of other underworld kind of stuff going on, and it's just, it's a story, I mean, I guess you could say this about a, a lot of yaoi, is it's all just an en a means to an end for people to just have sex, but <laughs> this one especially, I was like, okay, so there's kind of a story happening. <laughs> But it's mostly just naked men. Um, I don't know. If you like kind of buff dudes who are involved with the underworld, who are all apparently either gay or just really like to have sex with other men, um, check this one out. I will say, I mean, if the cover, the gun down his pants... If that doesn't, you know, make you stop and go, maybe this isn't for me, then it probably is for you. And <laughs> it's got, like I said, a lot of kind of, it's got some BDSM stuff in here and other things. If that's going to bother you, don't pick this up. Um, there is consent stuff issues happening didn't bother me as much in this title because it wasn't as though it was like oh we're dating and I feel entitled to you it's like no these are a bunch of shady dudes who are all involved in nefarious activities of course they are going to be involved in unconsensual sex and it just it is what it is it didn't bother me because it really like, it just all, the story just made sense. Um, it didn't catch me off guard, which is my problem with Yaoi. And the, the lack of consent in Yaoi is that it catches me off, like, when it catches me off guard. And you're like, that character shouldn't behave that way. Realistically, I don't think they would behave that way. Whereas these characters, I'm like, yes, this absolutely makes sense that they would behave this way. Um... And it's, it, it makes sense that that would happen. Um, yeah, so anyway, I enjoyed it. I love Scarlet Berico's art. I gotta be careful with what I show you, but I enjoy like they just they're just gorgeous. Yeah. It's, it's a, it was good. I liked it. It's a little bit longer than a regular volume. Um, if you like Yaoi, you're probably going to like this.
I enjoy Scarlet Berry Go. Um, oh, there is a color page, but I don't remember if it's inappropriate. Well, it's not not inappropriate, so I will not show that. Um, <laughs> anyway, highly recommend picking it up if you enjoy Yaoi. Um, also, these are adults. They're not they're not youth or kids or teenagers or whatever. Um, so, if that counts for anything for you, then hooray. Uh, I'm interested to pick up Jealousy when it comes out. I don't know much. I don't know really anything about it other than it's by Scarlet Perico. So I'm interested to see that one as well when it comes out. But yeah, fourth generation head Tatsuyuki Oyamoto uh, was exactly what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and I enjoyed it. So yeah, thanks for watching.